Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. This is Mrs. Saha and in this part, I'm gonna explain the first part in biology 0610 for IGCSE students. Are you ready? Let's get started. So in this part of the lesson, we will describe the characteristics of living organisms. So any living organism must have these characteristics. So all living organisms, all living things must have these seven features or these seven characteristics. And it's very simple to remember the seven features because you are going simply to remember Mrs. Grant. Do you know Mrs. Grant? So M stands for movement and R respiration, S for sensitivity, G for growth, R for reproduction, E for excretion, and N for nutrition. So simply remember Mrs. Graham and this is how you are going to remember the seven characteristics that every living thing must have. Let's start by explain every single characteristic. So the first characteristic we are going to talk about is movement. What do I mean by movement? Is movement the same as locomotion? Well, no, because there is a difference between movement and locomotion. What's the meaning of movement? This is an action by an organism, any organism, or part of an organism. For example, we will consider the movement of the animal, so this is movement, and the bending of part of a plant towards sunlight, also this is a movement. So we don't need to change place to call it a movement. This action by the organism or part of an organism will cause a change of position or place. So if the organism changes its place or its position, so here we are talking about movement. And one more time, let, uh, let's never forget that uh, the movement is the first characteristic of the living thing. Second characteristic, so respiration. And when I say respiration, everyone will think about breathing. However, they are different. So respiration is a chemical reaction that occurs in the cells. And these chemical reactions occurring in the cells, they break down nutrients in order to release energy for metabolism. So please, a very quick note, you are not allowed to say produce energy. This is not correct and it's rejected in the exams of IGCSE. So you must say release energy. And what do I mean by metabolism? It's the chemical reactions occurring inside the body. For example, an example about respiration. So the anaerobic respiration of yeast. When the yeast break down glucose to give uh, carbon dioxide, alcohol, and energy, this is an example of respiration. So please do not mix up between respiration and breathing. And the main difference is between them that respiration is a chemical reaction. However, breathing takes place uh, as inhalation and exhalation through the lungs. However, the respiration takes place in every cell. So not all living organisms breathe, but all living organisms respire. The third characteristic is sensitivity. So what do we mean by sensitivity? It is the ability to detect 
or sense the stimuli the stimuli are the external or the internal uh, changes for example when you move from a very dark room to a light room and you close your eyes here what causes the closing of your eyes the light and the light is called a stimulus okay so the sensitivity is the ability to detect to sense these stimuli even uh, either in the internal medium internal environment what do i mean by internal environment it's the body or external environment so outside the body and sensitivity also require to make appropriate responses so sensitivity doesn't mean only to detect the stimulus to detect the changes inside and outside your body no it does require also to make appropriate responses so for example also when the plant should sense light and responds by bending toward light this is also an example of sensitivity the fourth characteristic we are now talking about growth so what's the meaning of growth this is the permanent increase in what in size and dry mass so in both size and dry mass so this is an example of growth when the plant grows and it's also the increase in cell number so this is a permanent increase in size and dry mass how by an increase either in cell number or cell size okay so when the cell number increases or when the cell sizes increase so here these both or one of them will cause an increase in the size or in the dry mass the fifth characteristic or feature is the reproduction and what do i mean by reproduction this is the process by which an organism will produce the same kind of organism characteristic number six excretion so what do i mean by excretion so here please pay attention so this is the removal the removal of what of toxic materials so what toxic materials are found inside my body for example the carbon dioxide this is very toxic so we need to get rid from carbon dioxide so the excretion is one the removal of toxic materials or the removal of waste product of metabolism remember metabolism is the chemical reactions occurring inside our body so what do i mean by waste product of metabolism for example the water which is excreted in the form of sweat or urine so water for example is a waste product of respiration right so this is also considered as excretion and the substances in excess of requirement so for example if an organism is producing an excess of something it must get rid of this uh, substance for example the oxygen which is a product of photosynthesis so the plant which is a living organism will uh, produce and release the excess of oxygen as a result of photosynthesis and finally the last characteristic is nutrition and what do we mean by nutrition is the taking in of materials for energy growth development for example the plants require light carbon dioxide water and ions however the animals they do need organic compounds because they cannot produce these organic compounds and they also need ions and water so the nutrition what does it mean is the taking in of material to make energy 
and for growth and development. Let's make a bit of application. So, the diagram shows a plant. What characteristic of living organisms is shown by the plant in the diagram? So here, I can see light. So first of all, I have to think about light as a stimulus, right? And there is a bending of this plant toward this change. So what is the characteristic? Excretion? Definitely no. There's no release, for example, of oxygen. Reproduction? There is nothing that shows that this plant is producing the same kind of itself. Respiration? So there is no sign of chemical reaction. So definitely this is sensitivity where this plant is bounding toward a stimulus which is sunlight. The diagram shows a leaf on a plant. Which characteristic of life is represented by this diagram? So is it excretion? No. Is it nutrition? Maybe. Respiration? No. We are not talking about chemical reactions. Sensitivity? There is no sign of bending. So there is nutrition where the plant is, the leaf, sorry, is taking carbon dioxide, is taking water, so, and light. So this is the taking in of material that will produce the simple sugar for its growth and development. which is not please pay attention most of the students won't see the word not so which is not a characteristic of living organism excretion it is a characteristic reproduction it is a characteristic also respiration so the photosynthesis is not a characteristic because for example we are living organism but we don't make photosynthesis right and we are done. Don't forget, you can't do it and you will do it.